Hey, this is Ryan Jones, and this is part two of my AP Physics 1 video project on magnetism. In the first part, we tested the strength of a ceramic magnet at room temperature, then left that magnet in the oven in order to test its strength when heated. Did you make your prediction last time? Let's see if you were right. Our magnet has been heated to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's our same 60 paper clips, so let's see what happens. As you can see, the magnet is not able to hold all 60 paper clips. So why does this happen? Magnetic fields are created by electric charges. In our ceramic magnet, these electric charges were found in the electrons of the atoms that made up the magnet. When all the electrons point in the same direction, a north and south pole is formed in the magnet. The poles of our magnet were found on the two large surfaces. The north and south poles have attraction between each other, similar to the attraction of positively and negatively charged particles in an electric field. The attraction between north and south form a magnetic field. Temperature is a measurement of kinetic energy, or the amount of motion in an object. When the magnet heats up, the atoms in the magnet begin to move enough that the electrons are no longer in line. This causes the magnet to have weaker poles, which results in a weaker magnetic field. So when the magnet heats up, it can't hold as many paper clips as before. I'm Ryan Jones, and this has been my AP Physics 1 video project. Thank you for watching.